Chris Grayling's £100,000 part-time job at Felix Doport job was branded an insult to staff shouldering pay cuts yesterday. Union chiefs criticised the decision by the port's owner, Hutchison Ports Europe, to give the hapless ex-minister an advisory role for just seven hours a week. Unite described it as a slap in the face for staff paid by the hour who have had their Christmas bonus cancelled and been forced to change shifts to help the company weather the impact of the COVID pandemic. The union, which has more than 2,000 members at the port, said Hutchison Ports clearly has money to burn if it can afford to spend £100,000 on an advisor with such a poor record in office. Mr Grayling, once branded the worst transport secretary of all time by Labour, left taxpayers with a £100 million bill for ferries chartered to bring in vital supplies, if there was an O-deal Brexit, which were then never used. He faced calls to resign, after awarding a contract worth £13.8 million to run channel crossings to Seaborn Freight, a company with no ferries. The Tory MP's appointment as a strategic advisor was approved by the Advisory Committee on Business Appointments earlier this month. The latest MPS apostrophe register of interests shows Miles Hubbard, Unite's regional officer, said Hutchinson Ports clearly has money to burn if it can afford to spend £100,000 on a part-time advisor who once gave a multi-million pound shipping contract to a company with no ships and who was dubbed the worst transport secretary of all time. Close quote.